Okay, so we are about to close up the uh, operation. What I mean by that is uh, renew all the gaskets wherever needed. I've got myself four new O-rings A028997-4348. This is valid for the end of the hose which goes to the baffle the end of the hose which goes to the intercooler and on the other side the end both ends of the hose which come to the intercooler it's kind of straightforward to replace these o-rings so they are symmetrical same thing on both sides you can't put them in a wrong direction or something like that it's quite easy to replace them. Grab, grab a pick like this. Okay. Go underneath the old O-ring. Some might be stubborn. Some might come out really easily. So see it. Let's wipe the pose as best as possible sorry that the angle is not too good it is what it is be careful and avoid uh, fre uh, twisting the o-ring this is the baffle which I was talking about over here is the entrance for the hose and over here is the connection to the supercharger it gets fixed onto the front uh, timing case cover in these two uh, legs with holes in them and on this side it just fits onto the supercharger itself be sure to have both bolts cleaned up with a wire brush have the uh, blue loctite blue thread locker at hand also grease the new gasket Put it, do it like this. Okay, so grease it as best as you can because that sucker will automatically get clipped in good so have this circle clip in place have the 60 to 80 millimeter band in place fix it and uh, so I've changed the angle of the camera I hope you can now see what I'm about to do so I figure best way to put this in is to trick it like this put the holes in put it in position like that then trick this circlips over the 
existing one. I was talking about this clips, I had it over here to avoid having it fall. And now what you can do is have it tricked over this one and feel that the rubber is in proper position and it's properly fixed. After which we tighten it on. Now I just have to fix the bottom side. Okay, so this bastard is quite a hard nut to crack. So I've got a couple of tricks. Thing is that it has an oblong hole like this, tilted to the left. You gotta tilt, tilt it to the right so that the well the the bolt can pass through into the into the hole. Furthermore, uh, you start by fixing in position the bottom uh, screw, which is quite easy to get from underneath the car. And what else can I say? Not a lot to think about. The fact is that you need a, a longer key to pass through here, and even then you will attack the bolt at an angle, which is not very good you'll risk damaging it. Somehow I would think that it's a bit hard to do with the belt on but you don't have a chance considering that the timing the, 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 considering that the pulley the tensioner pulley is right over there and it can't be accessed from underneath the car. Anyways, it is what it is and we're moving forward. Now I just have to put a new o-ring over here and connect this this uh, hose to the thermostat housing. Okay, so this, this critter has been buttoned up. Talking about the baffle. The PCV vent tube has been connected. This has a new gasket on it and has been connected. Greased prior to assembly. Uh, what next? Everything is tightened and in proper position. Um, I have cleaned the mating surface on this area over here and the mating surface on this area. I'll be adding a bead of gasket maker here and here. And then we need to check if everything is clean on all bores. I will not be installing the, the spark plugs until I fill the engine with oil. But until then, there's a long way to go. So the first thing is a test fit to see how well I can put the the cover on. Uh, over there, I've got the screws aligned in the same way they came out. Even though they're all equal, I'll have to clean them out and something that OCD is me. My OCD is acting up again. I have cleaned the cover on on the cam for the camshafts so the cover for the camshaft thing is clean now what you might uh, see is that brownish color well can't do anything about it I tried gasoline I tried brake cleaner the same thing it stays there it's 
it's almost in, embedded in the plastic. Anyways, uh, I have greased the channels for the outer gasket. I have greased the channels for the inner gasket. Once again, this is a uh, is my way of uh, working around uh, this situation because if you turn this upside down without anything holding the gasket, it will fall down. And the grease over there acts like a uh, like a sticky uh, mass, which keeps uh, the gasket in place. Okay, so now what I need to do is uh, prepare myself some gasket maker. Uh, 